How you doing? Welcome back. It's it's spoiler talk time. Before we get into it, here's my, who is my imaginary friend? I still have him after all these years. My man Barney. Say hi, Barney. Ah, oh, boy. Whatever your imaginary friend was, if, you, if you're not ashamed, I mean, I, come on. We're all friends, family here, so I'm going to share you my shit. This is my man Barney, so yeah. That was my imaginary friend. But whatever yours was, comment below, let me know. And now, Barney, let's get into the spoiler talks. One of my YouTube subscribers, hope you guys are having a great start of your weekend because we got a spoiler talk video coming up for you guys, and it's going to be talking about all the spoilers for imaginary new horror movie by Blumhouse. If you don't want spoilers, you can watch my non-spoiler review about it. But this one, we're going to get into the real meat and potatoes. I felt compelled to do a video about this. There's like so many things that's like just like first half of the movie it's like one movie and the second half of the movie it's like a totally different movie that's not even like in the trailers at all let's talk about it let's just get into it if you don't want spoilers then you better leave now because i'm gonna spoil a movie for you so let's get into it let's talk about some spoilers about the scary teddy bear movie imaginary here we go okay first movie opens up and it establishes that okay our main girl jessica she you know she's got this trouble past shit like that you know because apparently this imaginary friend imaginary demon you see it in like the first five minutes of the movie you like get like little glimpses of it and shit which is something i'm kind of just like at first i'm kind of like a was that a bad call because usually in horror movies you know the demon creature thing you don't really ain't supposed to really see it till the like end of the movie and shit when it kind of just showed it like just just showed the thing it was like some type of evil demonic alien spider thing so i was like at least that was an interesting creature design I give it that i'm still kind of just like shouldn't you have saved that till the end of the uh, oh no okay whatever and then we fast forward to her moving back to the house and she's got you know, husband, he's white. That had nothing to do with nothing. I I'm just saying, she's black. So it's like, oh, well, I guess she's got a new husband and shit. Her husband has t t two biological kids, you know, the uh, little girl, Alice, and the bratty girl, teenage girl, to the pretty much the cliche teenage girl in every horror movie. Pretty much just like, you're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. You would just get off my back. Let me be a teenager. It's like, all right, build the checkbox. You're checking them all out, girl. Keep it up. So more or less, the movie tried to establish this, like, you know, dynamic with the little girl Alice and Jessica, you know, like, and Jessica, she, 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 like I said, she's giving her all. She's trying really hard to really, you know, try to be stepmom for these two girls. And, you know, brighter girl, teenage girl, she'll give a fuck. Little girl, she kept like, she was cute. And she was also, like I said, she was pretty for five years. I don't know, girl, this is five years old. I don't know. I thought she was a pretty good actress, and I felt that them two had pretty good on-screen chemistry, so good for them. Until one day, here we go, horror movie cliche number 13. Oh, it's an empty house. Let's play hide and go seek. Nothing bad happens when people play that in empty houses. More or less, Alice goes down to the basement, because I guess she just thinks her stepmom went down there for some reason. Go down to the basement, and she opens up this, like, I don't know what possessed her to do this. She, like, pushed these boxes away, and there was this, like, I guess a, a, a cupboard or something. It was a wall. But it was like a wall with like an opening. It's just, she opens it up and she sees the little teddy bear, Chauncey. She's just like, gotta have that. If I could jump ahead a little bit, cause nothing kind of really happens. You know, the bear gets into the house and then, you know, weird things are happening. You know, Glore movie cliche 47 that we've seen countless times. I'm gonna get right to the twist of the movie. So here we go, twist, here's the midway twist part. Because the part of the movie where, you know, Chauncey is telling Alice like, okay, here's a scavenger hunt. You do all these little mundane tasks and I'll take you to my Never Never Land. I'll take you to the upside now. Shit. Of course, Alice being a naive little kindergartner, she's like, okay, Chauncey, I'll do whatever you say. And then, you know, there comes a point where Jessica, she finds the scavenger hunt list. And, you know, it's all like, you know, find something that makes you happy, makes you sad, makes you hurt yourself, all type of weird shit. And there's a point in the movie you saw in the trailer where pretty much Alice about to slam her hand down onto the plank of rusty nail. And Chauncey was like, oh, yeah, I can't wait for that shit. But she stops there and Jessica's like, okay, you got to see a therapist or something or something. I'm trying to really remember this movie. But more or less, the real twist in the movie is the fact that when the therapist and Alice are in the room, Alice says, can I go get Chauncey? Just, you know, so I can make myself feel better. And, she, and the doctor's like, oh yeah, sure, go get Chauncey. She picks up Chauncey, she puts him on the uh, couch behind her, and they're talking and stuff like that. The doctor, like, she ends up saying, you know, okay, why don't you, you know, t turn around and talk to Chauncey and just tell him to, you know, fuck off or whatever. She does that. And, you know, she, she starts doing a little demon time voice shit like that. You know, saw on trailer like this. Maybe we shouldn't play together anymore, Chauncey. Maybe we shouldn't be friends. No, 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 no. 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 
it's like, oh man, it's getting all tense, creepy and shit. So what ends up happening is that the doctor, you know, and Jessica, I kind of like went to go get some water. She said this part, but I remember Jessica goes to the doctor and she's like, oh, I got to get the bear or whatever. And I just throw that ready old bear away. And the doctor's like, what bear? What are you talking about? And Jessica is like, and with full conviction, the Chauncey bear, the bear I showed you a shit. And this whole time when her and little girl Alice was, you know, doing a therapy session, she was recording it with a camcorder. Jessica literally looks at the camcorder and this is like the shit moment. Look at the camera and Jessica and her are talking, but on the couch, the bear's not there at all. The bear's not there at all. So then the movie did the montage of like, all the scenes you saw with the bear, the bear was never there. It was just always just like an imagined, it was an imaginary friend. I thought that was like a, oh, mm-hmm, okay. I like twisted like that little curveball. So it made me, as an entrepreneur, member, be like, what were we even looking at a bear the whole time? Was it even there? I guess, I guess it wasn't. So I like twists like that. That was a twist. Alice and Jessica, are the only two people in the movie who could see the bear. I guess that was long-winded, but that's twist. But now it's where the movie kind of jumps the shark because Bell was like, oh, out of like nowhere, Chauncey takes Alice to the upside down and shit. I, I just call it the upside down, which takes her. So now it's like Braddy's sister's like, I gotta get my sister back. You never cared about her. You never cared. I swear I was just like, Chauncey, you should have just took her out. You should have just did that. Now, Jessica and Braddy sister, and then this weird next door neighbor who had all the exposition in the world. She just was well, just an expert on everything imaginary friends and deep and this shit like that. Cause the movie just needed an exposition dump. And boy, did we get it. But more or less, they make a door from Beetlejuice and they go into the upside down. And like I said, the upside down is it literally looks like something out of a city of shit. Got all the doors and the clouds and the darkness stuff like that. I was like. Wow, what way to copy Insidious without actually, you know, being Insidious, but the DNA's there. There's all type of weird, bizarre things start happening. It's just like, this was nowhere in the trailer. At least, I didn't see the second trailer, so maybe it's in the trailer, I don't know. But anyway, they get to a point in the movie where they find a little girl, she's having a tea party, and then she's like, oh, I could be here forever with my mom. And then, you know, of course, horror movie cliche number 57. She's like, that's not the real mom, that's the mom. Caroline and shit, so let's just, you know, we're in the upside down, so whatever we imagine is real, so they end up making another door, and they get out, and of course, Chauncey manifests himself into the evil demon time bear. I think Jessica gets away, so it's like, okay, happy ending, everything's good. It's a happy day. They go visit her dad, and every kind of it's like, okay, I guess the movie's over and shit like that, because I guess she got out of the upside down, and she visits her dad in the hospital, and be like, thank you, dad, for sacrificing yourself, until she realizes, like, the soul time, uh, Alice had a burn mark on her arm or whatever and she looks at her arm and the burn mark is gone and that made me kind of be like oh she's still in the she's still in the upside now she never escapes oh it's one of those endings isn't it and sure enough she's still in the upside down and shit like that and she's all the demon bears all like you gotta stay here you stay here and sacrifice yourself and save the children. And I'm just thinking, she's gonna be like, okay, I'll sacrifice myself. I'll just stay here forever for my kids. And I'm thinking I was like, I'm not really crazy about that ending, but I guess I'll take it. But nope, the movie's just like, uh-uh. We gotta get her out of there. So bratty chick hits the bear with a, a wrench or something. And then they get out of there for super duper reels this time. The movie ends with them burning the house down and shit. So Chauncey's gone forever this time this time until 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 they get to a hospital i mean they get to a not a hospital they get to another hotel and they end up seeing this other like little bear just the tip of it on this chair and shit like that and then they find out it's just you know it's just you know prank and shit like that it's just a little kid with a little other little teddy bear and they make a joke like oh let's just go to another hospital let's go to another hotel it's funny until you realize they leave the hotel grounds and little boys like you know what rufus He's really hungry. He's my imaginary friend. And then, like, you know, it's like the little ordinary bear ends up turning into the Chauncey bear. And the movie cuts off, goes to black. Like, oh, it's one of, it's one of those endings where things are going to get a sequel. <laughs> I had that. It's so much worse. So that's pretty much my thoughts. Spoilers talks on Chauncey. What you need to know about the movie. You want to know, like, what is really this movie about? It's worth seeing. And I'm saying that now you know the whole ins and outs. I'm kind of just like, this movie probably be worth watching. It definitely on Netflix. Wait till it comes on Netflix for free. Then you won't feel like, oh, I just lost 10, 15 bucks 
Fuck me. Imaginary is officially in theaters tomorrow. You're gonna see it. You're not gonna see it. Well, it might be in theaters today by the time you watch the video. But Imaginary is in theaters. You're gonna see it. Talk about it. Let me know your thoughts. And I will see you guys in the next video. As always, subscribe. Until next time.